This project is about predicting cap demand in New York City. So let me give you a quick overview of what the data set looks like. So the data set says, uh, in the data set what we are given is, we are given latitude, longitude, time, and number of pickups at that latitude and longitude in New York City, right? So we're given we're given data like this on number of cab pickups that have happened at that location at, at a given instance of time. Now, uh, the amount of data that we're given is actually very, very large. So what this means is, let's assume this is New York City, right? In a given location, so you can represent a location by latitude and longitude. Right, which are actually caught, which 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 are like your x-axis and y-axis if you want to think about it for Earth, okay? So these latitude and longitude are like x and y-axis of your Earth, which is a sphere, right? So given latitude and longitude and a time, it's called timestamp. Like for it could say okay at five p five p.m. thirty seconds, right? On on a given Friday, right? On Friday with some date, right? In this location, these many pickups have happened. And the amount of data that we're given is massive. This is, by the way, this is actual data of cab pickups in New York City, right? So the amount of data that we're given is actually very, very massive. So we are given data for two years, for the years of 2015 and 2016. And for each, so for, for, for the year of one, for the year of 2015, we are given 146 million records like that. 146 million records like like the one that we just saw this is this is called a record right because this is one data point and 146 million is like uh, is roughly 14 crore records so we have roughly 1 crore uh, in the indian numerical system or about 10 million records per month roughly approximately we are also given data for 2016 and uh, the total size of data between 2015 and 2016 is about 24 gigs, 24 GB of data. So fairly large amount of data in here with lots of lots of records. And what we have to predict is interesting. So the prediction problem is what, what excites me a lot. The prediction problem is, um, okay, let, let, let me draw a timeline here for you to simplify it. Let's assume this is your time. And let's assume we are here, okay? Let's say this time is uh, 5 p.m on 12-7-2017, right? I'm just putting a date here. <laughs> I, I wrote a date which you can read it both MMDDYY and DDMMYY, just so that people in all parts of the world can easily uh, interpret this as a proper date and not get confused. So let's assume at 5 p.m., suppose we, we are at this time. Suppose let's say we are at time t. Now imagine if, I, if I'm an engineer at Uber, right? Imagine if I'm an engineer at Uber, and what is, what is one of the important things that I need to do as part of Uber? I need to ensure that at any given point in any given city, we have enough number of cabs available for customers to pick up. Because if there aren't enough number of cabs at a given location, the customers will request a Uber cab and it will take a lot of time for Uber cabs to come to that location, which is, which is deteriorating customer experience. So imagine if I'm an engineer at Uber who is responsible for having sufficient number of cabs at any given location, what is one thing that I want to predict? So for example, let's say you might take a time, I take a 10 minute interval here. This 10 minute interval is between 5 p.m. and let's say this time here is 5, 10 p.m. on the same day, right? So let's assume I'm at this point. I'm, let's assume I'm at this point right now. For the next 10 minutes for a given location, so given lat and long, Right, given a specific location represented as a latitude and longitude, and given this next 10 minute interval, I want to predict how many cabs or how many customers will request a cab in the next 10 sec in the next 10 minutes at this given location. Because if I know, if I can predict that well, I can have, suppose for, for this given location, if I know that between 5 p.m. and 5, 10 p.m., right, if I need 100 pickups, if I know that, I'll have 100 cabs in the vicinity of this of this lat long location who can come and quickly pick up customers. 
so if i can if i can predict 10 minutes in advance even 10 minutes in advance if i can predict how many cabs will be needed at any at every given location in new york city that that adds so much value because i can improve my customer experience even drivers cab drivers are very happy because i can route my cab drivers to specific locations where i think there is a high demand or high requirement of drivers right so that way both drivers cab companies and uber uh, sorry drivers uh, passengers cab, and cab companies like uber are super happy right because the driver knows that he'll get he'll, he'll surely get a pickup which means he'll make money the uber, uber company is good because they get a cut out of that money and the passenger is extremely happy because his wait time from the time he placed an order for a cab to the time he actually gets into the cab is very low so this is a very interesting problem that any cab company be it be uber ola you name it all of them try to solve and given given this massive amount of 146 million records in one year right and about 24 gigs of data between 2015 and 2016 this is this is super beautiful data set to to play with of course there there, there will be some surprises here for example if it suddenly starts raining right so there there are some of these very interesting patterns like if it's a holiday what happens at any given time or if it rains of course your demand for cabs will increase because people don't want to walk so there are all these very very nice intricacies of real world data and by the way this is actual real world data from new york city so it it will have all the properties of real world data being dirty which need to be clean it's it's fun it's 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 a real it's a real world problem that is exciting to solve